Hey everybody, welcome back. This is the World Series of Commander. I'm your host, Matthew McClure, AKA Big Dice on social media. Today we're gonna to be covering the three reasons you should buy and invest in boxes for Magic's newest set, Streets of New Capania. Reason number one, supply and demand. The Magic community is saying that they're only buying singles. If boxes are not bought and cracked and traded, less singles are gonna be available in the marketplace. Less singles leads to a higher premium. You're gonna pay more for those singles. Don't do it, go buy boxes. The value is there. Reason number two, gilded foils. This is a brand new style of foil. There's only five per collector box. It's on par with mythic rarity, meaning they will be very, very valuable. Chase cards for face commanders will appreciate as the set continues to grow in age. Reason number three, foil extended art commander cards. These cards are worth and will continue to be worth money. Special art, foil, and only available in this set. Think about it. So we recently cracked a sealed case of New Capania Collector Boosters. Uh, the case cost $1,200. We got somewhere around $1,368 in market value back. That value is slightly lower uh, than what the actual face value of the card is. Listed median is typically what uh, most cards are traded at in the marketplace, somewhere between two and 10%. So like the foil etched Obnixilis currently has a listed median of like $198 and the market price is set at 179. So right there is about a 10% flux. Some of the other cards, uh, Elspeth is like a five or 6% market price difference. The value is there, right? You're gonna have in upwards of $1,400 in EV, which gives you a bonus of $200 in trade value that you just got, free money. Along with our three reasons that you should buy this set, we're also gonna give you our top unload cards, our top buy cards, and our jank spec cards. We hope you go out and use this information. Our top unload card, number one, the bad boy, Mr. Xander. He's oppressive, he's not gonna be played in casual. The only place he may see play is in uh, EDH, CEDH. And candidly, he's too expensive. He's seven mana cost. Unless there's a way to cheat him out on turn three or turn four, it's not gonna see play. Think about like Tassiger and Emery. Those are the commanders that you typically see in CDH. A seven drop is not gonna be there. This is a top unload. It came out at $90. It's already down to 60. I think it's gonna settle in somewhere around 20 to $30 in my opinion. Top unload card number two, Elspeth. Everybody loves Elspeth. Matt, why are you saying to get rid of my Elspeth? It's simple. The ability just is not there. Candidly, the card released at $120 in value. It's already down to 99. It's probably gonna drop further and hit that 60 to $70 price point. And rightfully so. The, the ability to be able to look at the top seven cards and put a permanent with CMC3 or, or better onto play is cool if you're playing Pioneer or you're playing Standard or those slower formats. That's probably gonna be played in those formats. It's not gonna be played in Modern. It's not gonna be played that much in Commander simply because it's not that strong to dig seven when you've got 100 cards in your pile. This card, in my opinion, is an auto dump. What are the top buy cards? Number one card, Vivian. Came out at like 25 to $30 for the foil etched. Already sold out, pushing $40. It's gonna continue to climb. This, in my opinion, could be a 65, 70, $75 foil etched card. Simply because it searches out a win con. Think about going into an elf deck. You sacrifice a land of war elves. I go get my priest of Titania. I sacrifice my priest of Titania. I go get my other win con from three drop, right? It gives you the ability to search out your win con instantly as soon as it comes into play. Every commander player on the planet is going to want to play this in their green deck. The biggest top buy card on the market right now is an uncommon. It's actually a gilded foil, Rocco. This card is insane. If you have not picked one of these up, you should do it before it goes any higher. It released at $3 in value. The foil gilded version is currently listed median at $11. It is quite possible it hits a $30, $40, $50 dollar premium because of how insane this card is. Set it up as your face commander. Pay X. If you need to ramp, you go get a Dryad Arbiter. For, X can be zero. So for three mana, you can go get your Dryad Arbiter to help you ramp. If you want, you can hold it to late game and you can use X to go get Crater Hoof Behemoth. You can go get Enraiser Forerunners. You can go get the spell that's gonna win you the game, Kamal, etc. And it can be recast over and over. In the 99, it acts almost like a Finale of Devastation, a Green Sun Zenith. It acts like a Court of Calling. It gets you the spell that you need to win the game. And I'm gonna give you my jank spec card. I am a lover of jank. I love buying jank and specking out jank. Um, 
My favorite one is going to be Scheming Fence. This card is insane. It's going to see play in Standard. It's going to see play in Pioneer. It's going to see play in Modern. It's going to see play in Commander. It's going to be played across the formats. It's currently a 50 cent card. Should be a three, four, maybe even five dollar card. Yes, predominantly going to be played out of the sideboard for the 60 card formats, but it's going to go in the 99 for your Commander decks. That's all we got for today. I hope you enjoyed the session. Please like, subscribe, check us out. We're going to be reviewing the new Commander decks came, that came with Streets of New Campania. We'll see you soon. Take care.